how are you, mate? Good, buddy. How are you going? Very well. Good one for you here. Oh, yeah. Yep. What do you reckon it is? Block drain. It's got a below ground sewer. Corn. Corn, yeah. Um, somewhere in here there's a little gully. It runs that way. Ready? Hello. Hello. So I think we'll uh, try and find a boundary trap. Alrighty. An access point, we'll go down there and see if we can clear. Ryan thinks he knows where it is. In fact, I think he knows he knows where it is. Show us where it is, please, Ryan. We stuck a camera up from this end. Whenever you have a good access point, it's always important to cover it completely. Yep. So you can't <laughs> access it ever again. Luckily, in this case, I've been to the job before, so I know where it is. So okay. I've up this deck. So we've got the dropper there, which will drop, drop us down to the sewer. Yep. But so just, looking down here, I can see a I can see a pipe that's running pretty fast. That would be the mains, wouldn't it, Ryan? Sydney water. It drops down to the main. And then where we've gone up with the camera there. I'm sure the boundary trap. We're shooting up towards Ryan. And it looks like we're going to a trap. And at the base of that trap would be the base of the boundary trap. So underneath this plinth here should be a shaft and there is there's my writing from last time uh-huh it is boundary yeah yeah so it's not just a gully boundary that's me boundary sewer boundary sewer work on and that makes our life a little bit easier eh how are we looking is it blocked and that looks like a must have a gully coming off there i think or because a vent. Or, yeah. The so micro-flap. Yeah, yeah, something. That'll be the micro-flap. Alright, I'll pull my, um, my camera out. What I'm confused about is... Mm -hmm. So obviously it's substantially higher yeah. than what they've done there. That's right. Which is a big problem. Yep. Um, but what I'm wondering is mm -hmm. that's going to be an outlet. So there's an inlet down there. Yeah, so below that water level, there'll be an inlet. I must be under coming uh, from, okay. from that lower yeah, point down there. Water, of course. Yeah. So when I when I pop it from here and that drops, we'll see the inlet coming in. So we'll, we'll be able to clear it from here. But last time I cameraed it, Ryan, there was a there was a pipe a meter before it had dropped. I think yes. it's coming away from yes. the yeah. from the shaft. So potentially patch repair yes. of that. Yeah. That's redundant. Put it maybe a little pump out well in there for emergencies. Well, it's water. not completely redundant because I think it takes some water from the pump room. I yeah, think. Maybe I think maybe just cap that cap that off. Well, that's over, acting as an overflow relief gully, so you don't really want to cap that. Otherwise, it might come up inside. Mm. That's all they got for prevention if it floods, like it has today. You know, I thought maybe it might be able to get a one-way into a one-way valve or something just to get rid of a yeah tricky one. Well, it's a system that's working. It's not a very good system, but that's all they got. Then you're going to find the upline. Oh, I'll find it, but I'm going to clear it first. Make sure it's clear on the way down. Well, it is holding, isn't it? So I'll um, clear it between here and the mains. How much? Depth? And then that's just going to drop. Did you get much depth through there? Do you think it's got blockage through there as well? I think it's got two blockages, one out. One here and maybe one yeah, back that way. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll turn it on. Thank you. 
So you've got two issues, so one now once you clear that we'll just put the panel back up again. push here the only thing is and you've cap that as well as you probably don't want sewer running down here either but let's see if we can maybe solve it i mean let's i mean if we can find a solution for it um i'm going to clean this up down here Come on. you have a just brew don't use yeah Okay. Oh, yeah, that's not like acid down in there, mate. Look, that line? Up there already. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's straight, that line. Oh, I think we're going to put a face down. I'm going to put a face down. I'm going to seal it. Okay. inlet comes into the shaft that shaft is a little bit too high or this has dropped too much and yeah. it's got like a uh, a water seal trap so it's an airlock I'll give it another blast through there but you'll see what I mean when I, I'll go through with the camera from here and you'll see what sort of state the pipes in let's try to think what this is like it's weird it was uh that was it. So it had an incoming line of the gully. So it had a line that dropped into the gully, disconnected. So I'm going to chop that some concrete up for the BTS into it. I think the pool thing pumps into it, doesn't it? Isn't there an overflow? Yeah. Yeah. She's working the garage. Is it okay just to turn your engine off just for the meantime or the camera? Or do you want to run it? Yeah, I think we're pretty much finished with that. Oh, 
now there's this this here comes to the gully Okay. Means they've done it going the wrong way around. Yes. Put it upside down. Exactly. Okay, so can't see a great deal because it's dropped. See how it's holding water? Mm-hmm. And that could be because the inlet to the boundary trap is too low. Uh -huh. I need to get the gurney and then blast all the water out of there, force it out, and then that'll make this water drop and we'll see what's going on. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So where are you at though? Now what you I'm at the boundary trap. Do you I don't know what they've done, they've done it backwards then if the, if the outlet's coming. That should be an inlet. I don't know what they've done. They've gone It's just they've gone the wrong way around though. Because the, that should be the inlet, so they're going yeah. down and then the... Yeah, so that, that toilet you could hear flush comes straight past. I went up that way first with the camera. There's like a T. The wrong way around, so it's not, it's not sealing it. No, it's not sealed. It's just like an IO access thing. But it's on a T, it's weird. Alright, we're going to blast that. <laughs> my torch down there that's all right I'll get out with the magnet so that's what I was connected to just put a little magnet on here that should grab the uh, camera Actually, that should grab the torch. There's a blue, there's a blue ball in there. Yeah, you see that as well, did you? Yeah, I can see it now that I cleared all that water. Oh, is that where I am? Yeah, yeah, you're in here. So that's why I cleared the water so that we could see what's going on. Yeah, it hasn't dropped too so much. Go back, so, yeah, and I mean, there's not a big tide line either. So the, you can see a tide line there. Yeah, so the water's is, been sitting. So it but does, that's only because I've blasted the water. The water usually sits at that level. So uh, the trap, yeah, this should okay. be a bit higher than the trap. Yeah, we've got problems. Yeah. And that sand in there as well, looks like some sand. If there's sand, it means there's a break as well. And there's that blue ball. 
Oh, there you go. So I'm going to get that with the spear gun. Spear it out of there. <laughs> That's obviously come from here. So I think the best thing we could hope for really is, is we'll, we'll do a survey of that line to see if that's cool. Yeah. So what's going on there. Yeah. And then I think the best thing is to seal this off. Well, we know that line's all right. Best thing for them is to seal it off and hope that the head pressure just keeps clearing the line. Okay. Otherwise, that I think I've had it looked at before. Yep. And that's really okay. Yeah. All right, I'll go grab the uh, the spear. Who you knows? Maybe that's. They've connected the inlet too low yep. and that water level is above the inlet back about this far with water. Yeah, I think I have, have this before and it's basically a disaster. The whole line. Now I gotta try and get this ball out. I was going to see what's going on that line to make sure there's no breaks or anything. There I'm gonna, no, there's nothing here. Okay. So the, the line's okay. So it's purely the back. The issue is that the line's so low plus back pull. Exactly. All right. I'm going to blast it back this way. There we go. I see your finger. I see your spear fishing skills, Ryan. Smash it. I don't think it's uh, it's hard though. You see, it's a problem. Yeah. You, you need to grab it with your trap. You pull it back up with your water cord. So then just cut this. Yep. So I think we can get it out with the uh, plunge. That ball's gone up this way, hasn't it? Or is it sitting there? Anymore. Yeah, because it's floated up this way. Just what we needed. Some spill paint. Okay, where's the blue ball? There we go. Blue ball, pushed it in. Now I'm going to pull it out with my plunging disc. We've got to clean up this uh, paint. What's the, what's the word is? Is that for? What's that for? Oh no. Usual suspects. I think he no, made that up. No, eh? actively involved, you can just tap the shoulder. Is that how it works? Yeah, yeah. I can yeah. you, I can, you, I can <laughs> lead you, but you make the decision, not me. 
Mate, there's a nice big chunk of grease stuck around there. Big I think block. the ball wow. has the ball has actually found its way around past that chunk. Wow. But I'll go through and uh, get that a blast so we'll now. Have to, we'll have to diarise a regular, a regular clear, I think. Yeah, because it's got a tide line in there, it causes well, a bit of an no issue. Case, but it means it is clear. It's it root penetration. Well, it's good. I mean, a root penetration we can repair. This will just maintain. Release pressure. Yeah. Well, now we know if we can have an actual mark. I just got to blast this blue ball back out. Look this one in. Wait for a plink, plink. We're in. Good work, Ryan. Look at that. And this is how it should be. Yeah. So, best to always have a visible, accessible. So mm -hmm. when you, when I actually see this in future, it'll be pretty telltale. Yeah. There's something below that. Yeah. Because it's a cut board. So at least it gives us a hint. <laughs> All right, blue ball, where are you? There's that grease. Stubborn blue ball. Oh, I'll pull that grease out first. <sighs> Good bits of soapy grease, but still no blue ball. neighbor's problem now okay all clear I got the blue ball out, oh, well I bounced it and it's gone to the neighbours. <laughs> and Ryan, some spilt paint. What's the best way to clean up spilt paint? Where? Oh no, how'd that happen? Oh, 
I'll scoop it in. The rat. I'll scoop it in. Oh no, dustpan for it. I'll scoop it in. You're very resourceful, Ryan. Yeah. Alright, there's one. It's not just that there's broken glass. Beautiful. Good. Only one little last thing to do. That's a toilet paper flush test. Ain't that right, Ruddy? Yeah, toilet paper flush test. All right, get into your position then. Righty, eh, boss? All right, Ruddy. Ryan's going in to flush the toilets with paper. We're going to watch this end to see it come through. One. Would you believe? One. I don't think I've ever got it on one before. There's the paper. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. All good. Better out than in. Yeah. Goes there. Couldn't have done it without you, Ryan. All good? All done. All good. Yeah,